When it's cold outside, nothing can beat a hot bowl of stew. So this morning, we're joined by Chef Riva Constantine. She's the executive chef at Joe's Produce, and she's sharing the recipe for a lentil and butternut squash stew. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Anu. This sounds like the perfect thing to have in these winter months. It is very cold outside. So what do we have here? How easy is this to put together? This is very easy. You can put it together at night before you go to bed or in the morning before you go to work. And it's just uh, French lentils, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, Onion, celery, a little bit of herbs, some rosemary, vegetable stock. All right, let's all. get going. So this is just a, a vegetarian stew that really, like you said, only takes a little bit of time to put together, especially if you've got a crock pot. Exactly. Just a few ingredients. Okay. We're going to dump in here. Okay. There's no sauteing or anything. And how long will something like this have to cook? If you did it overnight, it'll be ready in the morning for about seven hours, so if you did in the morning before you went to work, when you came home, dinner's ready. Okay. You know, I make a lot of stews and soups, and I wonder about the lentils. How do you know what kind of lentil to choose? Because there are so many. Just whatever variety that you like. I like the um, green lentil for this one because it's not as dark as the black lentil. Mm -hmm. But you can choose whatever lentil that you like, just a variety. They okay. all pretty much taste the same. So you just add vegetable broth to it. Just pour it in. About how much would you say? I mean, The whole container. The whole container. The whole okay. container so that it can be very moist and uh, liquidy. And then you would just cover it and turn it on low setting. And then in eight hours, you have dinner. Wow, you can't beat that. No. <laughs> and then here we have a finished product. Oh, it smells delicious. And then it can be um, garnished with uh, Parmesan cheese. And if you were uh, vegan, you didn't have to put any cheese in it at all. Wow. And what other things can you, I mean, this is something, if you don't have butternut squash around or sweet potatoes, what other kinds of things can you throw in with lentils? Oh, you, I mean, if you're not vegetarian, you could put bacon in there. Mm -hmm. um, you can put chicken or um, Pork, you could also do any other type of squash, a uh, rutabaga. Um, there's, the sky's the limit with lentils because it's such a versatile uh, bean. And very hearty. I know I do not have a crock pot at home, so if people <laughs> don't have one at home, can they still do this? Sure, you could do this recipe. Um, just saute the, the uh, onions and the celery and add all the lentils and the squash and then the chicken stock or vegetable stock and you still have a great soup or stew in the end. Oh, it's wonderful. I can't wait to taste it. Tell us where you are located. We're at uh, Seven Mile in Farmington in Livonia, and we will feature this stew today at the store. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And You're how welcome. easy is that? Light, delicious, can't beat it. Thank you so much. And you can find this recipe on our website, WXYZ.com, on the Scene on 7 section. We'll be right back.